my people now your girl the irregular tailor i don't come with another learning now how to call this cow neck top i carry come today i don't mean cow i mean cow do you understand so if you use this method take cut your dress so follow me so first you go cut your length you go cut out for the pattern paper now the length of my top be that i don't mark where it go stop so now i go mark my shoulder my shoulder i divide them by two I can add one inch extra, which I go join the sleeve, then I go still trim and come out when I don't finish to join every part. So now my shoulder be that we are the mark. Then I go mark my shoulder slope one inch. You know, no say the shoulder no straight. So from there I go come mark eight inch for my armhole depth. You know, understand? Then I go cut my neckline, which is three inches. Now three inches I they use. Then I go connect them to my shoulder slope. Then from there I go go mark my chest line mark the same thing that i mark for shoulder so that my line goes straight i can call that place my chest line you know understand from there i go mark my bust point that bust point that to guide me so that when i cut the top then i go mark my waist length so now there i go put my waist length remember no forget so i don't labor i'm not the full length with that so my bust because in a loose top my bust i go add two inches then divide them by four con drop and just still add one inch still add one inch the same thing i go do for my waist my waist i go add extra two inches still divide them by four then mark them then add one inch the same thing for that ending part that length part now your hip measurement you go use you go add two inches to the hip where you get divide them by two then add one inch seam allowance so for that ending because i don't want to make it straight like that i come up by one inch to give them that curve then now that my back neckline I they mark, I come down by one and a half inch. Then I connect them. I connect my armhole everywhere. Then I mark the midpoint, which is four. I come in by half inch just to get that curve. Now no say for the front, nine uh, breast day for the front. So now why they always come inside for that front armhole? So now I go cut and no forget. For loose top, you go add extra two inches to the measurement where you get divide them by four, then add one inch for seam allowance when you be cut out. So I go use my my measure my pattern, cut my back. You go always use your pattern to cut your back first because the front you go slash them open. So now I don't cut my back finish for that down part. I add one one inch for the hemming allowance. So when I finish to mark them, I go cut them so my back done ready like this so now that the front so for that my chest line i go come down by one inch see i'm come down by one inch then i go slant my slant my arm go reach where that my arm will be i go come cut them open you see and when i finish like this i go come go place them for my material so now I don't fold my material to the desired length when i want the more way you they open them they go the more way you they get draped the more way the cow they form they plenty when I understand so i open my own reach 11 inch i be 10 inches should not understand now two yards of chiffon i use it go better make you use chiffon then for that neckline you see I'm, i straight my hand this front no go get any neck opening you go just straight your hand go reach the end of that your material for where you did i beg no vessel no no see I'm. so because this material is shaky shaky so i just put things to make and stay so when you finish when you don't straight your hand go reach the end then you will mark mark and where may reach the end i beg no version and no see i'm there from there i go call mark him. as you see me so i make sure say i notch where my shoulder day don't forget to notch him because it will help you when you don't the toner so i notch where my shoulder did then i cut and for the end too i still add one one inch so when i finish i go use and take cut the facing for the neck for the front neck and facing for the back now she found two yards i use so now that the facing i did cut if you do your facing make even reach the end of the cloth or half of the arm but it depends on the one where you where you want so now me i just do my own reach half of that arm whole side why do you chiffon because see i want to make it make make it look nice make it clean now i make her use the chiffon take they do the facing so now the back facing be this no need to use bias use the material take do facing it will make your work neat so now i go go turn everywhere join my sleeve shape arm she you see arm. i don't join my sleeve shape arm i go add my sleeve to one one inch i trim my armhole again shall when i finish 
So from there now, you go see the finished work. So now the finished work be this. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.